There was once a time when the mountains moved with caribou. Woodland caribou have flourished in the Southern Lakes region for thousands of years, but near the end of the 20th century, they almost vanished. Since the early 90s, 10 committed partners have worked together on the Southern Lakes Caribou Recovery Program. In order to save the herds, they focus their efforts on stopping hunting and spreading the word about caribou recovery. They also gathered both scientific and traditional knowledge to understand how and where the caribou use the land. As of today, the herds have more than doubled, but it wouldn't take much to lose what we have gained. And this is why annual monitoring is important. So how can we tell if the herds are stable? We monitor calf survival each fall through composition surveys. In the spring, calves are born small and vulnerable, but if they survive the fall, they have almost the same chance of survival as an adult. When calf survival outweighs adult mortality, herds will grow. The Southern Lakes region is home to the Carcross and Ibex caribou herds. As we fly over known rutting areas, we count the number of cows, calves, and bulls. While we don't see every caribou, we count a large portion of the population that is representative of the whole herd. In 2017, we saw 23 calves per 100 cows in both herds. Over the past five years, we have seen an average of 24 for both herds. An average of 20 and 25 calves per 100 cows indicates a stable herd. Calf survival can change a lot from year to year, depending on weather and predation. Monitoring caribou over multiple years helps us make educated conclusions about the status and stability of the Southern Lakes herds. Based on our recent surveys, both herds are stable or slowly growing. These surveys are one tool that is used to ensure that the Southern Lakes caribou flourish for years to come.